Welcome back to PTFS and we have a variety of new planes as well as plane revamps to check out in this update. As you can see behind me we have the new A380 which we'll be checking out in a moment and make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. The A380 which is a Game Pass plane has finally been updated and um, we've got the three variants of interiors here, Emirates, Korean Air and Qatar, all with slightly different lounges at the back of the second floor. So I suppose we'll do a tour of the aircraft or of the interior starting from the flight deck. And as with all the new recent uh, aircraft revamps, we have a basically all of the instrumentation here is uh, nicely updated, a lot more detail than the previous version, all of the buttons, uh, knobs, as you would expect. Maybe one day we can get the overhead panel because it seems like no aircrafts uh, do include that, but still a lovely amount of detail. Now head down to the back, we've got the stairs to the second floor, which we'll check out in a moment. So we've got all the seating. This is of course colored for Emirates. So it's the Emirates uh, brand colored seating uh, in here. Uh, not, nothing too special on uh, this deck, I suppose. It's pretty much just all uh, economy seating. But a nice addition of this aircraft is the circular staircase at the back, which we didn't have in the A380 before. And this is the Emirates Lounge. This is different in the two other aircrafts we'll be showing and the rest of the liveries that you can spawn don't actually have a lounge. So very nice um, custom detail, I suppose, for each of the uh, airliners. Great for role plays and great for the role play airliners, I suppose, in PTFS. Nice amount of detail in here as well. And of course, we've got a nicely detailed second floor. It also does feel like this aircraft is slightly larger than the previous version, uh, which is good because as you can see, lots, lots more headroom in here. At the front here, we've got the stairs back down and well, there you go, we've completed a full tour of the aircraft. We're here in Korean Air and you can see this is, well, changed up, I suppose. It's a bit different back here. They've got just like this uh, large sofa, bit of a TV, actually a very small TV, and then a tiny little bar here. So again, changed up a bit. And finally in Qatar, they've got this, it's kind of moved forward slightly. So you've got a, a bit of seating back here by the stairs and then this bar area. And I love the colors. Lovely little bar, some seating on the side and just a nice place you can grab a drink mid-flight. So that is the A380 revamp. Of course, there's a lot more detail I could go into, but I'll save that uh, for you to explore on your own. Now we move on to the 737 revamp. And with this revamp, we actually have a few new additions. We have both the C40 Clipper as well as the PA Poseidon. Now we'll start off with the airliner and these are all the same, unlike the A380, there's no real interior differences. One cool change though is the fact that some of these have built-in air stairs. For role plays, you don't need to use the air stairs or the jetway, you can just deploy the stairs. So again, nice role play addition. Inside, nothing too crazy going on. Uh, we've got the 2x2 seating heading into the flight deck here. As well, a lot more detail than the previous 737. It's actually crazy to look back at the old aircraft before the revamp and just see how little there was in the cockpit. So definitely a major improvement up here, which is great. We'll uh, move on from the Ryanair over to the C-40 Clipper. Now this, I believe, is usually for transporting uh, the Vice President, First Lady, and members of Congress, as far as I'm aware. And it's usually given the cool sign Air Force Two. So it's like Air Force One's child in some ways. Anyways, uh, relatively similar, not much change up here. Simply ma mainly changing with the seating. But yeah, as you can see, some tables, less seating on this aircraft since they don't usually need to cram as many people in uh, as possible. But uh, yeah, that is the C-40 Clipper. We move on to the C-8 Poseidon, part of the uh, US Navy's fleet again. The air stairs, lovely, nice and useful. Nothing really going on up here that's different, but back here, uh, it tells a whole different story. We've got a lot of communication equipment back here, uh, lots of computers, monitors, uh, excess seating for crew, and then back here as well, we've got a bunch of storage. Not entirely sure what this is. If anyone does know, feel free to let me know in the comments. But yeah, a bunch of equipment back here. I'm going to guess a lot of this is for communication, so yeah, this aircraft is for mainly for patrolling and reconnaissance. You can see as well uh, a couple of additions on the bottom and the top there, but yeah, made, mainly changed in the interior. And lastly, we have the cargo variants. 
and as expected the cargo door opens up so i suppose you can role play loading stuff in there it would be nice to get some more ground crew vehicles that you could actually do a role play with loading cargo up unless you use the i think it's the food truck apart from that you can't really load stuff up into it anyways nothing much going on in the cockpit and no real additional seating in here it's mainly all about the uh, cargo bay back here Prime example of using a variety of ground crew vehicles for role plays. Yeah, that is the 737 revamp. Uh, a bunch of liveries, a bunch of different variations as well. So definitely, I, I definitely think players are going to be happy uh, with this update. Some more miscellaneous change, as you can see in the bottom right, we have the minimap. And if we zoom in, it's probably easier to see. They've now replaced the dots for people with arrows. So it's both easier to see where people are and which direction they are heading. Last main addition to this update that I want to showcase, I'm trying to find where Tokyo is. Uh, there we go. If we head over to Tokyo, there is a new badge as well as a new aircraft that you can collect. So let's hop in and uh, join the search, I suppose. As you can see, we've got this new tiny, tiny aircraft. Doesn't exactly look safe to fly, but it is here. All right, we're looking out for a small cave. Oh, there it is. There it is just over there by the massive bridge. You really cannot miss it, honestly. There we go. Helicopters coming in. And there it is. There is the cave. So if we head inside, we've found this plane. As you can see, we've got a badge in the bottom right hand corner. And well, lift off. Here we go. I, I don't know how much I trust this thing, but let's see this thing fly. Hopefully. There we go. It's in the air. Wow. Look at that go crazy let's fire this thing up all we've got to control this is a tiny joystick we are pretty much strapped to an engine wow okay and we are we're up we are up this thing is surprisingly fast as well really hoping to get some more ptfs role plays out soon because it has definitely been a while if there's anything i missed in this update or anything you found uh feel free to let me know in the comments or anything i got wrong but anyways make sure to subscribe to the channel keep up to date with the latest ptfs and erc content and i'll see you all in the next one Goodbye.